Hi, Mark. Welcome to the show. I guess right out of the gate, I mean, how is New York treating you? Has it lived up? I mean, besides the championship, <laughs> is exciting. Has New York City, New York, the Yankees, new stadium, has it lived up to your expectations? Oh, that and more. I mean, this stadium, I get to go to the greatest stadium in baseball every single day, play in front of the best fans in baseball. And, uh, and we won a championship in my first year. Currently, we're in first place. It doesn't get much better than that. How are you feeling? You know, the fans, I mean, the ups and downs, the media, the press, all good? Well, that's, you know, that's baseball. Uh, you know, this is my eighth year in the game. And uh, everywhere you go, uh, there's fans, there's media, there's, there's ups and downs. In New York, you know, it's just uh, a little bit more intense. And that's great because when you're winning, which we have been winning since I've been here, uh, it makes it that much more fun. As a kid, going back to a little bit of childhood, Look up to any player, admire any player, uh, model yeah. your game after a player. Yeah, you know, it's no secret that I was a huge Don Mattingly fan. And growing up uh, as a Baltimore Oriole fan as well, people ask, you know, how does that happen? How are you an Oriole fan living in Baltimore and also a Don Mattingly fan? And, uh, you know, I can't explain it. I just love the way Donnie played. I mean, Donnie baseball was uh, so important to so many people. You know, my age, if you ask guys from the age of 25 to 35 right now who their favorite ball player was growing up, so many would say Don Mattingly. Yeah, and that no just says, uh, says so much about him as a player and a person. Did you collect as a kid? Were you uh, a card collector? Big collector. I have books and books of baseball cards in my house uh, where really? I grew up in Maryland. And when my son gets older, I'm going to pass them along to him. You know, he loves uh, organizing things. He's four right now, and I think he's going to be big into collecting when he gets older as well. Now, you're in a Yankee locker room full of just a whole bunch of different unbelievable players. Tell me who you've learned the most from. Is it somebody that's passed something on to you that's uh, worth mentioning? Well, I mean, I think playing with Derek Jeter, Mariano Rivera, uh, Andy Pettit, Jorge Posada, you know, those guys have been here for so long. And so the players that haven't been here that long really lean on those guys. And you know, we ask them about, uh, you know, certain things on and off the field, you know, going through the playoffs last year. We really relied on them to lead the way, and they did. What's important to you these days? What are you working on off the field, charity? I know you do a lot of stuff for uh, charity kids. Yeah, right now, you know, I'm, I'm big into kids. I, I love giving kids opportunities and helping them uh, ha have the opportunities that I had growing up. So right now, uh, I have a lot of involvement with Harlem RBI. They're doing some great things in the city. Uh, and these kids are not only playing baseball and having fun, but they're getting education. They're getting opportunity that they wouldn't otherwise have. Wow, so now you're, you're doing a bunch of work there. Now, anything else that you, you've done over and the overall on, on the grand scheme on the charity end? Oh, there's, there's lots of things. College scholarships are very important to me. And, you know, uh, charitable work is always something that baseball players feel very strongly about. And, you know, uh, any way we can help out the community that, that gives so much to us, you know, we love to give back. Now, who taught you? I mean, you're such a well-rounded player. That's what probably surprises a lot of New Yorkers. You know, we knew you were a good fielder, but then we heard you were, had a good bat. How did you become such a well-rounded, consistent player? Where did you get that from? Yeah, I, th I think the key is, is to try to play winning baseball. And if you try to be a part of a team, try to play winning baseball, then you realize that it's not only offense, defense, it's running the bases, it's little things, hitting cutoff men, backing up bases. There are so many little things that go on in a baseball game that can help your team win. And I try to do all of those, th all of those things. Kid from Maryland, you ever think you were gonna come this far <laughs> and be living this kind of dream? No, no chance. Uh, if you have asked me, 10 years ago, 15 years ago, I'd have loved to play one day in the big leagues, just to step on this field. And uh, you know, for me to be in the place that I am now uh, with the Yankees, I've just been so blessed and I've been given a lot of opportunities. Knowing everything you know now, what would you tell a, a 10, 12 year old kid who's aspiring to be a major leaguer? What would you tell him? The biggest thing is have fun playing baseball, but play other sports. You know, other sports sure. are very important. I played baseball, basketball, soccer, tennis, I swam, I played backyard football. You everything. Know, everything. And what that did is that allowed me to, uh, you know, kind of play the field, see what else is out there, and realize that I love baseball. It also developed my athletic ability. You know, baseball is a lot of skill. There's a lot of skill in baseball. But, you know, running around on a basketball court, uh, using your feet in soccer, using eye-hand coordination in tennis, those are all things that made me a better baseball player. All right, back to Harlem RBI. We're going to have you sign a baseball, and then actually what we'll do is we're going to put it up on SteinerSports.com, walk it off. Great. And then also, if people want to contribute, it will be right on the screen and people will be able to make donations or find out more information about your RBI program in Harlem. That's great. The Harlem RBI program does so many things for so many kids and um, you know, I think a lot of people are, are going to be impressed at what they do. There you go.